Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you back into Barnstormer Baseball Cards. Tonight, we're going to look at some TTM successes that we received through the mail as we like to send off for autographs. We have five here in front of you, as well as a random act of kindness from our friends Ben and Gary at Namath Seaver on Twitter. We've been trading some cards with them. That's a couple of good guys. That's a uh, father-son tandem. And they are working on some uh, pretty deep sets and a lot of Mets stuff. So if you have Mets cards or you want to reach out to them on Twitter, um, they'd be happy to work with you and uh, put some sets together. Um, they're working on a lot of things, but mostly the, um, the Mets from 1962 to present. So go ahead and hit them up if you have any of that. With no further ado, we will dive into our TTM successes. The first one coming to us from Seattle, Washington is a great one in Mr. Doug Sisk. Doug inscribed both cards with his number 39. He's shown on the right with a 1989 upper deck card as well as a 1986 tops card. 1986 is especially important because in that year he was a, he was a World Series champion with the New York Mets along with Mr. Gary Carter and several others. He's a right-handed pitcher in the MLB from 1982 to 1991, and we sincerely appreciate Mr. Sisk taking some time out of his day to sign some TTMs for us and send those back. I really like the upper deck card on the right because, as you can see, there's a batter here in the foreground. He's kind of blurred out, and then there's Mr. Sisk looking in. Um, a lot of the 89 upper decks, in my estimation, were really dark cards, like the shadowing and shading was was a little bit off and uh, kind of hard to see sometimes, but they did get some interesting angles and, and as you guys know, start to revolutionize the uh, the hobby and the way that cards were looked at and things. So I thought that one was really cool and, and very distinct and unique because I haven't seen another one where there's a batter um, right there in the foreground and basically you are, are just behind him. That's pretty cool. So that's a unique card in my mind. I liked it very much. We had one that came back. Um, it's up next. It's coming out of Philadelphia, PA. And I am almost certain that I sent this thing somewhere in the realm of four to five months ago, maybe even longer. And I wonder sometimes where TTMs go and uh, spend their time and, and what goes on with them during those months. And obviously during COVID, maybe people are just holding off on uh, handling mail and things like that. But I've had this in the past where stuff can be out there for quite a while. And this one was no different. It's a very cool card. It's a 1965 Tops of Mr. Bobby Wine, shown here as a shortstop with the Philadelphia Phillies. Great picture of Mr. Wine there. We're going to set him up on a stand right here in the middle, and we'll move Mr. Sisk out around him so you all can get a good look. Now, Mr. Bobby Wine was a shortstop. He did play from 1960 to 1972 for both the Phillies and Expos. In 1963, he was a Gold Glove winner. In 1980, he won the World Series with the Philadelphia Phillies as a coach over our Kansas City Royals uh, with Mike Schmidt and Pete Rose on that squad. In 1985, he also had a short managerial stint with the Atlanta Braves, and he right now is 82 years young, and he took some time out to sign TTMs for us. So we thank you very much, Mr. Bobby Wine. That is awesome. Um, very happy to get that. I love the 1965 Topps release. Beautiful cards. That, that pennant waving on there is something special. I just love the look of it. So very, very cool. All right, moving on to number three out of Abilene, Texas. We have someone that played for our very own Kansas City Royals. I'm going to put the powder blue up front because hashtag powder blue for life, Mr. Jerry Don Gleaton. Mr. Gleaton, he was a left-handed pitcher from Brownwood, Texas. He pitched from 1979 to 1992 in the majors. We'll set him back here. Um, <clears throat> during that time, he played for the Rangers, Mariners, White Sox, Royals, Tigers, and Pirates. So well-traveled during all those years. There he is again with our Kansas City Royals on an 89 tops release. I'm going to scoot everybody over so we can work in Mr. Gleaton into the frame. There he is. And I'm going to put a couple others of his back there. I mentioned before that he was a member of the Tigers. And here he is in 92 with both Donruss and Upper Deck. I love the Upper Deck stuff. I just mentioned that in 1989, I thought a lot of their cards were dark. But boy, by 1992, they had their stuff together and they made some beautiful cards. 
I love the 1992 set and the way it looks, and I've got a ton of these autographed, and I will continue to do so because they are just beautiful in my mind. All right, moving right along out of Knoxville, Tennessee. This one, I are quite a few in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five of five from Mr. Steve Searcy. He's a left-handed pitcher, like I said, out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Still there to this day. Love the 89 Future Stars card. Mr. Searcy played from 88 to 92 with the Tigers and Phillies. And like I said, he signed five of five from us. So I am going to have to make some space here. We'll put the 89 upper deck in the back. We're going to grab this one. And we're going to stick Mr. Doug Sisk in the back. We'll leave his World Series year up front. And like I said, I really love the Future Stars cards. We're going to put Mr. Steve Searcy right up front with that one. Love the Tigers warm-up jacket. I hope he still has that. That'd be a cool piece to still have. Here he is with the Phillies getting ready to deliver a pitch. And again with the Tigers on the 1990 upper deck. And in 91 with the Tigers. So quite a few. Five of five. Really appreciate that. Awesome, awesome return from Mr. Steve Searcy. Sincerely appreciate it. Now, moving right along to our last, or fifth and final one. As you guys know, I'm kind of working on a project now, if you've been watching any of our videos. And we brought in Mr. Mike Fiore on an 88 USA card. If you know I'm collecting this uh, Olympic team. And we continue to add these, and um, they are not disappointing. These are beautiful cards, and I believe, knock on wood, I, I think... They've all signed in blue Sharpie, and they look absolutely spectacular with blue Sharpie across them. So we're going to work him in right here in the middle up front since he is last but not least. We'll welcome him to the party. There's Mr. Mike Fiore. He was on the 1985 College World Series winning team at University of Miami. He's an early client of the super agent Scott Boris that you all know so well from uh, all the gigantic contracts, including those by Alex Rodriguez. Um, back in the day, Scott Boris has changed the game and affected the game forever. And also in 1988, he won a gold glove, uh, sorry, a gold medal with the USA Olympic team. And we're going to continue to add to that team as we go on. Um, these are beautiful cards. I like the 85s. I like the 88s. Um, I believe they're again in 1992. I'll have to get some of those out as well, but right now we're focused on 85 and 88, especially. So thank you again to Mr. Mike Fiore. That is a beautiful card with an uh, awesome, awesome autograph on it. Now, getting to our random act of kindness, I'll show you again. This comes from our friends Ben and Gary, father-son duo at Namath Seaver on Twitter. They're collecting various things, a lot of Mets stuff right now. And they sent this random act of kindness, came from them. And within it... They sent a good note, and I believe they also put in some cards for my seven-year-old son, Cole. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. How awesome of them. His favorite, Mr. Salvador Perez. Now, a lot of people are talking about Salvi as a potential Hall of Famer. I believe he's going to get there uh, based on his defense. But, boy, his hitting this year, he has been on fire. And I know he continues to work on that every offseason, every uh, chance he gets. And it is definitely, definitely showing um, these are great cards. That's a 2018 Tops on the left and a National Baseball Card Day from 2018 uh, with the powder blue top. I love that. Cole is absolutely going to love these. So thank you, thank you, thank you uh, from uh, us to Ben and Gary for sending these contributions to his collection because it is coming along nicely. He loves, loves, loves catchers and especially Salvador Perez. So you guys have knocked it out of the park. Thank you so much for that. We sincerely appreciate it. I'm going to put these on a stand right up here up front. We'll continue to fill the frame with beautiful cards, beautiful autographs, and a lot of appreciation for the hobby that we love so much. So with that, I want to thank you all for stopping by and uh, joining us on this TTM Successes um, episode of Barnstormer Baseball Cards. I want everyone to stay safe, have fun, enjoy your weekend, and be good. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.